Hey everyone, Brian from Workshop Addict and we're going to go over some buying tips for the automotive enthusiasts for purchasing a half inch torque wrench. Now we got very specific on a small group of people. We're not talking mechanics that are using these on other people's cars. They're going to go out and spend the money on a snap-on. We are going to back up a little bit, try to get some of that same quality that we could get in a snap-on at a lesser price. Now there's three different types of torque wrenches that we could go into. First is the beam type. That's going to have a little scale on the back of it and you're going to have to almost be a gymnast to use that type. Although they're the cheapest, you're going to always have to be able to see that scale and it just doesn't really work for us. Uh, the second type is going to be the click type, which is the most popular. And the third type is going to be an electronic or digital torque wrench. Now that digital torque wrench too, you almost sometimes have to be a gymnast to use, but at the same point, we're going to show you why you might want one of those and why you might not. Now with the click types, these uh, click type ones have to be stored at their lowest setting. It's something that you have to recalibrate every five, six years if you want to keep them accurate. And a good accuracy rating for them is going to be four or five percent or below um, to try to keep them as accurate as possible. You can go to Harbor Freight. In fact, I've seen some of those torque wrenches on sale, incredibly cheap. Um, never owned one, don't know. We, I've had this unit here, which is a made in the USA model, probably since I've been 12 years old. The gears inside finally broke. So we decided to try out one of the Tecton's half inch models here. This is a click type. It's 30 to 250 foot pounds. And that is something that you first have to decide. Tecton also makes this, I believe, in a 10 to 150 foot pounds. While that works for most cars, uh, we also have some larger pickups here that the lugs have to go on at 165 foot pounds. And I think that's where we want to get kind of in the center. Now, if you're just using this to put lugs on a car, work on some, uh, some suspension, the click type is going to give you a feeling. It's going to kind of give you a little break and it'll tell you, hey, stop putting pressure on the lug. You've hit your torque and then you can remove and move on. Now you can still hit that click and apply more pressure, which you can do with just about any type of torque wrench. But one suggestion that I'd have is try to find one that has a ratcheting end. Now there are some out there that don't, most of them do, but this ratchet is gonna be a big deal. If you're gonna look at something that is digital, the difference between the click type and the digital is pretty much the same other than the digital is going to have more features which means more dollars. First you can set this up to go from any t number basically on ours we have a gear wrench in front of us this will go from 25 to 250 foot pounds as you approach the torque specified the yellow light will turn on and as you get within five pounds of it, there will be a beep that will go off alerting you that you're there. Now, if you are doing this with tires, it is an incredible pain in the ass because you can't look down and see it all the time and you will not be as accurate as you could with the click type and you will be nowhere near as fast. Um, this is great for working on engines. If you want to get something to 33 foot pounds, you can watch it and you can watch the gauge build up. And there's also readings on here that'll tell you the actual torque that was applied. So if you went to put on a tire and you wanted to set it to 90 foot pounds, you can pull it off at the end and say, oh crap, I put it at 110. Uh, it just cool features like that, more dollars. Don't ever want to drop it a lot of plastic on it, and it does take batteries to run. Um, a lot of people think that these could be the way to go when they're first getting into it because it's cool, it's technology. They're great to have, they're great for accuracy, they're not good for the everyday or every weekend do-it-yourselfer because you're not working on motors or valve trains or anything like that where you need this specific of a torque wrench. I'd highly suggest that you take a look at the click types Tecton makes one with a lifetime warranty. There are gear wrench models out there and a few different ones that are there. Personally, I have a hard time, you know, if, I'm, if I want something with some accuracy and I see something on sale for 10 bucks, I have a hard time putting, you know, my faith in that tool. But some people have them and they really work well. 
Now, if you're going to downsize and get to different micro adjustable ones that are going to be in three eighths or one quarter, just make sure if you get this click style type that you do put them at their lowest setting when you store them. Very, very important. Uh, also, some different uh, types of torque wrenches come with storage that may or may not be important to you. It is for us because we want to keep these separate from our other tools so that they don't get bounced around. I hope this helps you a little bit. There's all kinds of information on torque wrenches out there and you can go out and buy just about anything you want from $10 up to $500. But maybe this will get you in the right direction, give you some hints on what we've run into. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Stop by Workshop Addict or check us out on social media. We have a lot going on out there. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.